Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do a quick first impressions disassembly of the Fox Knives Suru. So this is a Vox design. Um, I'm a big fan of Jesper Vox Knives. You guys know I love my F5.5s. Uh, here is one of them. Here is a Giant Mouse Ace Riv on loan from Bearded Gear. And you can see size comparisons there of those. Um, obviously, the F5.5 is a bit bigger. And then the Riv and the Subaru are pretty similar, actually. Surprisingly, I thought it would be a much... Not much, but I thought it would be a larger knife than the Riv. But it's basically the same size. Um, this knife did win, like, Knife of the Year or something at Blade Show a couple years ago. I think 2019, which is interesting. Basically, because it's a carbon fiber frame lock, or that one was, um, and, oh, I didn't mean to do that thing. Uh, sorry. Carbon fiber frame lock. This one is an aluminum frame lock. It's a drop.com exclusive, or was, whatever, M390 and aluminum. Uh, interesting. I always wanted one, and I'm glad I never bought one. <laughs> uh, basically... It's very hard to function left-handed. Uh, I mean, you can flip it and you can disengage it. But flipping it, uh, it's really hard to not put pressure on the lock bar. Um, it's a bit awkward to do that. And then you can't front flip, you can't uh, thumb flick it really well because you have to really kind of angle. And then it's just slippery as well. Right-handed, it's almost worse, which is weird. I'm not right-handed, but... There, I got the flick. Um, disengaging it is kind of really hard because it's so slippery in there. Ah, got it. Sort of got it. Like, it's just really hard for me. Thumb flick. Can't do it because I'm locking it up. And then the flipper is easy right-handed. Um, so, I don't know. It's just not that functional to me, honestly. Um, the size, you know, it's really tiny. So... Uh, but that's a Vox thing. Ergonomics are really good. It fits in my hand very well. Has a really good finger choil up there. Choil here and a flat. Boom. Really nice. M390 blade. Drop point. Maniago Italy. Vox design, of course, and Fox. Uh, you know, all your normal stuff. Teardrop hole. Uh, pretty much par for the Vox course, you know. Uh, so let's see if we can get this bad boy apart. This is on loan from a buddy on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to keep him anonymous because I'm not sure if he wants me to be giving out his information. Um, but he is going to be selling this. So if anyone is interested, uh, you can let me know. I think they went for 160 new and uh, he's looking for like, I don't know, 110 120 something like that uh, but you can always send me your offers i'll sell it for them so just let me know i don't believe it came with a box i think he has it um he found it after he sent it to me so if you really need the box um you know we'll figure that out Let's see so that's coming off real easy there we go sorry my nose is pretty stuffy guys i'm still feeling that cold a little bit Apologize for that. Uh, we do have bearings, steel cage bearings, which it seems to be a Fox thing at this point. Uh, it's pretty sad, honestly, that they're using steel cage bearing, not steel cage. These are uh, brass, but the bearings are steel. Um, that's what's sad about it. Uh, there's really nothing going on in here special. I mean, it's just a knife. You got steel inserts for each side for the bearings, so it's not running on aluminum. Obviously, you have the stop pin here. Um, sorry. You have your frame lock made out of aluminum with this insert um, out of steel. There is your uh, lock bar, which is not your lock bar. Your detent ball, which is... I'm going to look off camera. does look to be ceramic. looks like white ceramic. Whatever that is called, I forget. Uh, standoffs, uh, which this backspacer sits on. 
pretty, it's really lightweight. You can see it's aluminum and then all the holes in there. Um, straightforward here on the blade. Um, you know, just interesting design. This does have a, does it? Yeah, it looks like they have a slight detent ball ramp, which is always good to see. Um, I mean, it's definitely a good build, solid build. Uh, I got to say, it's not dirty at all. I'm just going to get something to wipe it, and then I'll uh, do the usual. I'm not going to put, you know, skips in here, but I might go ahead and just drop some uh, uh, ceramic bearings in that I have laying around. Because they're all the same size, and I might as well. Uh, shit. Sorry, I just dropped the pivot. Got it. Man, even with this fancy new mat, I can lose shit, huh? You will see I'm using the mat. I got screws there, screws there. Trying to pay attention a little bit. <laughs> um, all right, so this is the clip side. Oh, they're both tooled. So I think this came out of here, but I'm not sure. Is it D-shaped? Yes, it is D-shaped. Which side has the D? That's what she said. This side has the D, you will see there. So that usually means that I need to put it through this side like this. God damn it. Right here, it should go through. Okay, you see how it's only at the end there? That tells me I'm wrong and it needs to go through this side and then it goes into there on the other side. That's what makes sense to me. Hang on one second. I think my kid's crying. Sorry about that. So my kid woke up. I'm just taking care of that. So yeah, it needs to go through this side. And then... Yeah, that end will drop into this side. You'll see. Um, so, bearings. So I just want to get some... Uh, just regular bearings. I'm not going to put skiffs or anything like that in here. It's not my knife, and uh, it's not even my buddy's knife at this point, so well, hopefully, um, and I'm still going to make it better, so I try to help when I can. I'm going to take some just brass caged ceramic bearings out of here, and these should help for sure, so difference being these are brass caged ceramic bearings see the black these are brass caged steel bearings see the steel color um i have found that ceramic is way better way smoother as a bearing type um specifically i just literally today got or yesterday got this holt haptic which is basically a thousand dollar knife and it came with freaking steel bearings, steel caged steel bearings. Like it was really weird. Um, and I could not get it to be centered, drop shut, um, and have no blade play. Like, I mean, look at this, my God. And there's no play at all. It's a rock, um, and it's centered. Um, uh, I couldn't get it to do that. So, I went on their website and I, they actually sell ceramic bearings, brass cage ceramic bearings. So I ordered a set and then I ended up putting in Gillian salt and pepper bearings. And uh, I got those in and immediately there was a huge difference. I could tighten the pivot, get it to drop shut, and it was smooth as butter, no play. I mean, it was amazing. So I'm just saying, I think ceramic bearings go a long way, guys. I'm trying to get this open. Come on, baby. Sometimes they don't want to open. Jesus. Seriously? Gotcha, bitch. All right. 
Did I say that out loud? I'm sure I did. God damn. Like, just, I just need, see, this is why I try, that's why I'm getting more KPL, because, I mean, this thing is just oozing KPL at this point. It's crazy. All right. Always face the cage towards the, uh, or the bearing towards the, uh, Blade. I should make sure they fit in there. I mean, they're the same size, so they should fit. But... Yep, they fit. All right. So, this did have something on it. Some kind of oil. Clean that off, obviously. All right. So, I want to just put a droppy drop here. Here. And then here, I'm not gonna use heavy, it's such a small blade, I don't think I need to. All right. Where is the, hang on. All right, you wanna stay in there? Fine. I was looking for the stop pin, but it comes from the other side, so. Make sure the pivot is at the bottom, perfect. Uh, and then put drop, drop. Drop, drop this in, bearing face out, and then drop this guy on. See any, yep, see, missing parts. Drop that guy on, drop this guy on. Now, it needs to get into that D-shape. Okay, so that's where it becomes a little bit of a, a game here. I got to turn it the right way. Where's my... There we go. I mean, it looks lined up, so I don't want to... I think I got it. Okay, I think I got it. So we'll go ahead and put the pivot in. Make sure it's, yep, seems to be seating just fine. Go ahead and put these back spacer screws in. And I did get permission from my buddy to take us apart, of course. Um, he's a good dude. Uh, I don't want to over tighten anything, so sorry. Oh, all right, calm, calm down. Such slippery shit, like KPL, and then this aluminum man is so slippery, it's insane. So you'll see here, it's just this very like I don't know how to explain it. It's like really gritty, no matter what you do. I thought it might clear up having put bearings in there or something. Now, I do wonder if it's just kind of tight or something. So, I'm going to check that. Yeah, it's like a rock. So, a little bit of blade play. Let's see what it does with that. I mean, it just does not want to be like smooth. It's just, that's how it was when I got it. It just is a knife you you close like this, you know what I mean? You don't shake it, really. Like, it's not a good shaker. Um, the bearings are in there. Everything seems good. Detent's still good. Uh, I'm just going to tighten it a little because I feel like I loosened it a little much there. A little bit of play. No blade play. Yeah, I mean, you can get it to shake shut. You just got to give it a good shake, you know. Centering, a little off, but I think that's how it was, to be honest. <laughs> this was not tight. Or this one. Tighten that. Yeah, centering is not great. Well, I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure that's how it was, being 100% honest here. I don't think loosening the pivot is going to change that. We'll see. That might be the other side. Yeah. That's a little better, but... You don't want to be loosening the pivot just to... There we go. That's centered, but... Now you have some waggle in there. I mean, it's just a game with Fox. And, all you know, some of these companies, man, it's just a game. You got to play it. What do you want? You want centering? You want action? You want blade play? Like, what do you want, you know? It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is how it was. It was not centered when i got it i totally recall that uh, hopefully i showed it when we started but it's pretty much where it was right there actually it looks pretty good now anyway so um yeah guys this is the fox knife suru and i am so happy i never bought one uh this is one of those that like i really really wanted like i it was kind of like a grail early on in my collecting um because I like little knives. I like Vox designs. I like his ergos. I like uh, a good drop point with some belly. Um, I like blue. <laughs> like I like M390. <laughs> I used to think Maniago uh, and Fox were like companies I wanted stuff from. And um, I am so happy that I kind of grew past that. Uh, and never ended up getting this one. Because that's 160 bucks that I didn't spend that... Um, you know, I I just don't like this knife. That's my honest opinion. I like the looks. I really like the looks. Um, I like the blade. Uh, I think it cuts well. I mean, I only cut like a piece of paper or something, but it cuts well. I love the ergos. I mean, it's Vox, right? But I do not like the knife. It is super slick and uh, slippery because of the aluminum uh, and maybe the coating on it. Um... And it's not very fidgety because of the action. Um, the detent, honestly, isn't bad. Um, but it's, you know, to get no play, you end up with, uh, you know, very, very shake shut action. Um, and it's not fun to play with with my larger hands. Can't really do much because I'm left-handed. I don't have a clip to hang on to. Even right-handed, it's not fun. Um, yeah. This is just a hard miss for me, guys. I will follow up. Oh, my God. It's completely locked up now. I cannot open it. Oh, my God. What the f... What was that? That was weird. It just like completely locked up. I could not get it out. And now it's fine. That was weird. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> this has been <laughs> the Fox Knives Suru. Really appreciate you guys listening to me uh, rant and rave, watching me and my jackassery. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I... We'll catch you later.